Whoa, friends. Yeah, so here's my latest uh, project. It's a uh, it's a large uh, neodymium magnet. It weighs almost uh, one kilogram. I have it suspended, uh, and um, it's kind of it's like hanging by elastics. And the reason for this is to isolate vibration, because uh, when I get it spinning up uh, really fast, um, I've had a problem with vibration with uh, fixed setups where the gyroscope is kind of like, you know, forced into place with um, using bearings like on the axis. So with this method, I just found uh, it just does a much better job of um, isolating vibration so you can get the thing to spin much faster uh, without um, without the problems that come with vibration yeah so I'll just uh, turn it on and show you how fast it can go I, I have the whole thing um, behind a sheet of plexiglass just in case uh, something happens like it won't um, blow up in my face and I have a tachometer that I will measure the uh, RPM with so here we go Ta -da. See, the vibration is almost completely eliminated. Which is like, what I like. <laughs> so, current RPM is at 4,200. It goes to about 5,500 before it kind of maxes out. Five thousand. It's a little bit, um, like I'm a little bit uh, afraid, I guess, that it might break apart or something like that. Because it's just elastics holding it in the air. You can see how the elastics, like, expand, uh, centrifugal force um, pulls them out more and more which pulls pulls the whole magnet up with with it but I just don't want like this shaft to hit the top because then it'll uh, you know it'll explode maybe or something like that so 5,241 Looks like it's holding. Oh, it's going down a little bit. I have it um, at uh, three volts with a two amp power supply, so not very much. I don't want to uh, make it go any faster because you know it's not. Uh, it might. It'll probably. Um, explode or something like that <laughs> so yeah that's it I'm just gonna turn it off now it actually makes like quite a bit of sound so uh, yeah that's um, that's the simple part maybe I'll just take the plexiglass away now
so uh, this is uh, based on uh, Bruce De Palma's design. Adam Trombley also built a very similar device uh, back in the 80s and uh, basically it's a generator like what I'll do actually maybe I'll just stop this then first has a lot of inertia as you can see it takes a lot to slow it down <laughs> Okay, so uh, basically it's a generator, like I'm going to put um, stacks of um, copper discs underneath it, like here's, here's a couple, uh, let's see, and then here's a couple more and they'll just, basically like a quarter inch copper disc would be uh, ideal, like what I would want, but I only have um, sheets of copper, so I'm going to have to like uh, stack them, like have about six to twelve of them stacked. See, I've got a whole bunch of them cut, uh, and I also want to try this design as well. Like have six of them and then like measure um, the output and then have a different set of six that are um, cut with the, uh, the spiral pattern and then measure the output and see if it's any different from the first stack. Uh, basically like when the thing turns one way it produces um, voltage like from the axis uh, like if you measure from the axis um, to the equator or the edge of the gyroscope voltage is created I mean this has been shown before uh, you know you, it you spin it one way and the polarity is one direction you, you change the direction and the re polarity reverses and I've already actually uh, shown this to myself um, I've measured a small voltage that is created but the thing uh, the neat thing is that uh, it's not the voltage like it's actually the amperage like the claims of uh, free energy are that the uh, the amperage is very um, high high amperage low voltage output but if you times the two to get the wattage the wattage is actually greater than the wattage that you're putting in like with this thing I have a little electric motor up there that uh, might be hard to see But you could do the math and uh, figure it out, and yeah. So hopefully, you know, if I can get more energy out than I'm putting in, then at that point, I could uh, rig up a method um, to have it power itself. You know, put the high amperage, uh, low voltage through a transformer to boost the voltage so it can power itself and you know blah 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 I mean there's been talk about how to do that like um, what I would do is uh, I mean I'm not an electrical engineer but I would take the output from this uh, device and I would pulse it like pulse it through a transformer so that you're gonna get an output like a high voltage out of the, uh, the uh, transformer which you could use to like power the small electric motor because uh, you know I think they say that like a direct current 
to a transformer like will not create anything from the secondary winding like you have to put AC into the primary to get anything out of the secondary but I think that if you pulse your um, your DC into the primary coil of the transformer that you should get a high voltage output from the secondary coil which you could connect to the uh, the electric motor to get it to uh, power itself and I've actually created that already here but uh, this was just my first like crude um, very crude effort to put uh, to create pulse direct current into a transformer I mean this is like this is a mechanical uh, method to do it um, but it works like although my research didn't go too far so I you know I could be wrong <laughs> but anyways that's it for now uh, thanks for watching there will be a second part to this video where I have the completed uh, project and hopefully I can uh, measure um, some amperage some decent amperage off of it I guess uh, like one contact goes to the axis or the axle and then like you have to have multiple um, brushes on along the equator to pick up the uh, the electricity that's generated and you know this is like this is what Tesla what Tesla, Nikola Tesla did in uh, 1891 so we've had free energy since that time but uh, you know we're still not using it like the public isn't the secret government does but uh, we the people have to use primitive uh, combustion engines that have been obsolete for a hundred years. But anyways, that's it. Okay. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.